Black Stag Brewery opened 18 months ago. It's a locally run family business. Things were looking really good until today. Catherine Myers is the owner. She says they've done everything right. In addition to masks and tables closed for spacing, they've added UV lighting in their HVAC system to kill viruses and bacteria. The problem isn't the restaurants and it's not even really the bars. It's the big parties that the students are having on their own. New rules from the health department in Douglas County require all bars and restaurants to close by 10 p.m. That includes outdoor seating and patios during crucial weekend hours. I also think it's kind of an odd coincidence that they decide to cut everything off at 9 o'clock, which is the time that KU football is going to play their first game and the Chiefs game. It's going to be a late start game. Having to close two hours early, three hours early, that's really a dig in my paycheck because, you know, I work for those tips. So if I don't have people coming through the door, then I don't make any money. Oh Employees say things were looking up and the new rules were a surprising disappointment. Some residents disagree. Kansas has had a rise in the COVID situation, so. It's probably smart. In Lawrence, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. And business owners that don't comply could be fined $2,500. Restaurants that don't serve alcohol are not impacted by these new rules. A statewide mask mandate and bar closures. Those are the new recommendations for the state of Missouri from the White House Coronavirus Task Force. The state's considered a red zone for COVID-19, partially because of a spike in cases in college towns. 7,000 Missouri college students have tested positive for COVID-19. Governor Mike Parson has re, uh, uh, resisted those calls for a statewide mask mandate. New guidelines are now in place at Benedictine College in Atchison, Kansas, after 23 people tested positive for COVID-19. Beginning Saturday through September 18th, students who live on campus are not allowed to leave unless it's for an emergency, academic requirements, to work or to buy everyday needs. And students who live off campus can only be allowed on campus for academic reasons, for athletic practices, or for religious services. All right, here's a look at the coronavirus in the Kansas City Metro tonight. On average, in the last week, there have been 274 new cases reported each day in the nine county area. That number is going down. The average number of hospitalizations, though, hasn't changed much. Tonight, the seven day rolling average is 92. Health officials urge caution this holiday weekend.